वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स नाउ इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सी दी शेयर स्ट्रेन इन द मेटल कटिंग सो सी ये what is mean by shear strain so shear strain is basically uh, it is a simple uh, definition we can define the shear strain as it is a deformation in the chip just before the fracture divided by the shortest distance between two shear planes how to define this shear strain gamma is nothing but the deformation in the chip just before fracture just before fracture divided by the shortest distance shortest distance between two shear planes two shear planes this is the shear strain okay so for that suppose i have to show the the various positions of the cutting tool say for example this is the chip and at this time tool is here okay so say so before coming to this position the tool say go to the flashback at some time before the tool was here okay so if i join this see this o a b o a b l okay so this is the undeformed chip okay when the tool was here and now the tool has moved to this point o and now this chip is going to deform okay so now the say tool is here now at point from this point k when the tool is here so now the new chip that is going to deform say it is k s l o okay so little bit so what is the deformed chip now here when the tool is at point o from point a it is k s l o so initially when the tool was at point a what was the chip which is in the undeformed condition undeformed condition the chip was o sorry o a b l o a b l with the thickness of this chip say it is delta okay now what going to happen when this tool is moving from point a to point o that is this chip o a b l is now going to deform so what is the deform chip so it will be k s l o k s l o so what is the deformation in the chip just before the fracture so from o from point a to point k so this distance is actually here this is a deformation in the chip just before the fracture that is k a or a k so if i write here a k and what is the shortest distance between these two shear planes say ab and ol now the shear planes these are two shear planes isn't it so what is the shortest distance between them so in triangle oak from point o i am going to draw a perpendicular on to this ak okay at point n okay so that i can get the shortest distance between these two planes which is nothing but the delta isn't it so it is ak divided by delta now see i i will draw this diagram or this triangle exaggerated view here so 
this is o a k and from o i have dropped a normal on the a k at point n isn't it so a k divided by this delta is nothing but what this o n and this a k will be what a k will be a n plus k n divided by o n isn't it now see this is our tool so this is our what rake angle alpha so this is our rake angle alpha this is our what shear angle phi this is our shear angle phi then this angle will be 90 minus phi and this angle will be 90 minus 90 minus phi minus alpha so it will be phi minus alpha isn't it so i can write here this gamma is nothing but our shear strain which is equal to a n divided by o n plus k n divided by o n isn't it so what is a n a n divided by o n what is this is it cot of phi cot of phi is equal to a n divided by o n adjacent di uh, divided by opposite isn't it so it is cot of angle phi plus what is k n divided by o n that is tan of angle phi minus alpha you will get here the shear strain gamma in the metal cutting operation is equal to cot phi plus tan of phi minus alpha please remember you get this shear strain here cot phi plus tan of phi minus alpha very important formula to calculate the shear strain in the metal cutting operation is that it so here what we have done so we are having the flashback of the cutting tool so before coming to point a it was in the past it was at point a and that point when we talk about the chip so initially the chip we are getting here it is in the undeformed manner so we know the formula what is shear strain in the metal cutting so deformation in the chip uh, just before the fracture divided by the shortest distance between C this shear planes between the two shear planes is nothing but our shear strain okay now see when in the question in the, if they ask about the value for minimum shear strain the minimum shear strain so in this case what we will get we have to differentiate this shear strain with respect to the variable shear angle phi isn't it and equate it to zero so when we equate this differentiation with phi with the zero d psi or d phi by d d gamma by d phi that is shear strain differentiation of shear strain with respect to shear angle phi what is this derivative of this so minus cosec square phi plus sec square of phi minus alpha and equate to zero so what we'll get so sec square of phi minus alpha is equal to cosec square of phi isn't it or i can get cos square of phi minus alpha is equal to sin square of phi because one upon cos and one upon sine directly i can write this so what i can get here so this cos of phi minus alpha is equal to sin of phi so what is sin phi or cos phi is nothing but sin of 90 minus theta that is 90 minus phi minus alpha is equal to sin of phi so what i can write here so 90 minus phi plus alpha is equal to phi okay so what i will get this 90 is equal to 2 phi minus alpha 90 is equal to 2 phi minus alpha so here for the minimum 
shear strain calculation okay so first of all we know the value of phi and from this phi we can able to calculate the minimum shear strain in the cutting operation say for example if i take a question like this if in the orthogonal turning operation with the zero rake angle zero rake angle what is the minimum shear strain induced in the cutting operation so what i am saying alpha is equal to zero in an orthogonal turning operation or cutting operation with the zero rake angle what is the minimum shear strain minimum shear strain in the operation how to calculate then first of all we have to calculate this phi that is 2 phi is equal to 90 plus alpha so phi is equal to 90 divided by 2 because alpha is equal to 0 so phi is equal to 45 degree now what is the strain gamma is equal to cot of phi plus tan of phi minus alpha so alpha 0 here so cot phi plus tan phi so what is cot 45 plus tan of 45 isn't it so that is 1 plus 1 is equal to 2 so the minimum shear strain we are getting it as a value 2 so like that we can able to solve the questions when they are asking for the minimum shear strain okay so again say we are having one more term here that is the shear strain rate shear strain rate so what is shear strain rate so the shear strain rate is nothing but it is the ratio of shear velocity shear velocity divided by the average thickness of average thickness of of primary shear zone primary shear zone it is nothing but the thickness of at the tip at the front of the tip of the tool which shear get produced okay and then it will propagate but the thickness of that shear is nothing but the average thickness of primary shear zone okay or simply we can say that this chip is nothing but the layer by layer deformation of this material which are undergoing deformation because of the tip of the tool so the minimum distance between these two planes we can take it as the thickness of average shear planes or simply the thickness of that crack in front of the tip of the tool okay and the maximum value for this the maximum value for this average thickness of primary shear zone is equal to or it is given by 25 microns please remember ye value maximum kitni hoti hai 25 microns hoti so 25 microns that is 25 into 10 to the power minus 6 meters or it is 25 into 10 to the power minus 3 millimeter isn't it and if it is given in the numerical then it's well and good if it is not given in the question so this value you have to taken as the one tenth of the value of ls we know ls is our the length of the shear plane which can be calculated as ls is equal to t1 divided by sin phi or t2 divided by cos of phi minus alpha isn't it this is the value for shear uh, plane length so if this value is not given directly you can use this average thickness of primary shear zone is equal to one tenth of the length of the shear plane and vs shear velocity we know that is the velocity along the shear plane isn't it this is the vs okay so of course this is a strain rate so it is per second 
isn't it? If the shear velocity it is in meter per second and this value of this average uh, thickness of primary shear zone if I take it in meters so it will be 1 upon second or second inverse. So shear strain what is the unit? Shear strain rate not other shear strain. Shear strain rate this is gamma dot I will say it is equal to second inverse. So in this fashion we can able to calculate the strain induced in the metal cutting as well as the shear strain rate also okay so formulas we have discussed let us take one or two example on this thank you